Hey guys, okay, so summer's here and everybody's probably pale for winter. Um, I thought it would be fun to do like a bronzing video. We get a lot of people that ask us, what's the best self tanner that um, is natural that you guys really, really recommend? And I of all people, I really like to have a glow, like a tan on my skin. There are some people that can just look amazing and get away with that porcelain white skin. I am jealous because I have really pasty white skin and it just does not look flawless and porcelain like some of you guys. So if you have that porcelain skin, don't even bother with these tanners. Just use that to your advantage because you're blessed. Those of us that aren't, this is just a quick self tanning video. Just telling you what my favorites are that are natural um, and kind of some pros and cons of those. So hope you enjoy. So I've got, I've got four different products here. The first one that I'm going to tell you about is Origins Full Glow Radiant Self Tanner for your face. Ew, that's messy. Ew, that's messy. It's got, it's kind of orangey when you put it on, so you can see where you're putting it. It doesn't look orangey after. The problem I've had with it, it's really blotchy, especially around the corners of my face. I've tried primers, I've tried moisturizers, mixing it kind of with those, and it doesn't really do justice for that. I did like it for a little while. I don't know if you ever buy products and you're like, trying to convince yourself that you like it and then unfortunately you realize like halfway through the bottle that you don't really like it as much. That's kind of where I stood with this. I really, really liked it, but then I'd get frustrated because my husband would be like, you're kind of blotchy like around the edges and I'm like, oh man. So overall the color was not bad. It wasn't orange, which is great because there's a fine line between orange and actually tan and it looking natural. So, oh, and another thing is I would kind of break out. I'd break out on my forehead and um, around my mouth and it was weird. So that's my rating on Origins Faux Glow. Terra Firma's Gel Mineral Bronzer. Now this has a little bit of a sparkle in it. Gold sparkles, it's actually really, really pretty. This dries right away. It's thin, so I didn't have the problem of it not being smooth all over my face. I applied the primer, which I always do, and then I applied the bronzer. And um, it looked great. The color is great. It didn't look bad at all. I really, really actually liked it. The only problem I had with this as well is I also broke out. So I don't know. It was kind of a consistent thing with bronzers. I, my skin just didn't really like it. But overall, I do like this one quite a bit. Um, I just, yeah, the only thing was that. I'll link videos below of where we've used these products so you can see what they look like. I know our Snooki tutorial has, we used this and it was awesome because who, everybody knows Snooki's really, really tan, that Jersey Shore tan. This actually helped us get that look really well. So I do like this quite a bit, it's nice. Jane Iredell's Tanasia and um, I like this. I think this one's a little more expensive than the um, Terra Firma one. They both give really pretty glow. The Jane Iredell is more matte. It doesn't have sparkles like the Terra Firma. They're actually the same size almost. Pretty much the same size, which is funny because it looks way bigger. Yeah, so overall I would say I like the Terra Firma a little more. And then another one I wanted to talk about was, and I'm so sad that I don't have it here. I'm in the middle of a move, so I don't have a lot of my products and I was really anxious to do a review on this. The Tarte Bronzing Stick, it's for your legs. It's got like a bronzing shimmer to it. It's kind of weird actually to apply because it's just a stick and you just rub it on your legs because you can't put it on your hands first and rub it. It's just, you rub your legs directly with this stick. You push it up, kind of like a push pop. You push it up the more you use it and then, yeah. But it, overall, it does give a really pretty look on the legs. It's really, really pretty. The shimmer's really pretty. And, the, and the, what I love is I didn't have any problems with it rubbing off on my clothes. Like I would wear white pants or white shorts and it wouldn't rub off on them, which is awesome. So good job on that tart. There's another thing that tart has that's in like a funky shape. It's like a glass bottle. I should have printed off a picture. It's more for the face, I think. That one, I did not like at all. It didn't give me any color and it had like just shimmery. It was just shimmery. It was supposed to be like a bronzing, kind of helping you get a little bronze, but it was just like glitter on my face. I'm like, no, no. And then my all time favorite, I'm gonna say my Envy Echo bronzer. This stuff, I would say is the best bronzer, honestly. This is my favorite. I really like this for my face. It's an amazing bronzer. It's highly pigmented. So you get, I mean, a little goes a long way. So it lasts forever. It is a little more expensive, but like I said, a little goes a long way and it gives you that pretty color and it lasts all day. So Envy Echo um, Organic Compact Bronzer. I liked it. So 
Anyways, um, that is my bronzing video. So you can get your glow on this summer. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bum, 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 bum.